Hey, Brandon, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I'm, I'm curious, what was the mentality like for you today? Obviously, knowing the so a few arms were taxed after last night and going out there and trying to get as many innings in, as you can. Yeah, I mean, my mentality today was to attack the strike zone. Uh, I knew if I could get ahead of those guys, they weren't going to be able to string too many hits off of us. So uh, I went in there and tried to do that, execute it well. So, you know, when I got to the sixth, uh, I was like, you know, I can keep going through this and definitely help us out for tomorrow. So, yeah, my mentality was throw strikes and get ahead and uh, let the bullpen finish it at the end of the game. Michael Lanana. Uh, Brandon, obviously it was a really uh, a tight game early on. And uh, I think it was the fourth inning, the bases were loaded, a, a tough situation. You're able to uh, get a strike out there to end the inning. And there are a couple other situations like that where you're able to make a big pitch. Just how are you able to, in those moments, be able to make a pitch like that, to be able to, you know, especially against such a good lineup, you know, like Florida's? Yeah, I mean, I've been in those situations. I feel like, you know, sometimes I do a bad bad job of putting myself in that situation, but um, I've done a good job of getting out of those a lot this year. Um, it's kind of my my MO, you know, if uh, somebody's on base, you know, you got to get tighter, got to got to lock in a little bit more and make a good pitch. And, uh, you know, that's just all confidence right there. Um, and so that's kind of what I was trying to do. John Whittle. If, if memory serves, you didn't walk a whole lot of guys in scrimmages this year. Uh, you, you had a few walks to start the season. How how disappointing was was that for for you? And and how big of a statement was this just for you and your mind to, to to go out and only walk one over seven? Yeah, I mean the one was an intentional one, so I really had no control over that. I know that counts against me, but um, uh, you feel me? But uh, um. Yeah, you know, obviously I, I wanted to get back to it. I knew I could throw strikes, and uh, as if I get ahead, um, I have a lot of confidence, and Coach Mead has a lot of confidence in me. So, you know, when we're kind of rolling and working together, um, that's the kind of result we get. So, let's go back to Colin Taylor. And in your last two starts at Texas and at Vanderbilt, seemed, I mean, you pitched well. You guys obviously didn't come out on the right end. How do you balance that, knowing you've pitched well, but the team didn't come out on top over those last two weekends and how nice is it feel to pitch well and, and get a win today? Yeah, I mean, that, that doesn't really bother me. I know, uh, you know, in ba that's the game of baseball. Like, you know, somebody's going to have to pick somebody else up that day. So, uh, you know, when I was when I was throwing pretty good and, you know, it, it wasn't how good I wanted to throw either. But, uh, you know, I threw decent enough to keep us in the game and uh, and then to come out today and, you know, be able to be able to do that again and get some big uh, hits and runs behind me. Uh, it definitely uh, definitely uh, helped my demeanor a lot. So. And can you take me through the decision to switch up the walk-up music and go with Taylor Swift? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, uh, Smalls, our uh, equipment manager, uh, we were just going through it one day, and he was like, oh, I just don't think uh, – I can't even remember Black Dog by Led Zeppelin, I think is what it was. And he's like, I just don't know if that's you. So, you know, we, we were going through it, and we were listen, listening to, to some T. Swift, and he was like, whoa, this has been right in front of us the whole time, and he starts playing it. And I'm like, well, makes sense. I'm number 22, and – so, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to stick with that one, too.